Hi everyone, I'm coming on to make a, another Easter bonnet because this was a request um, someone wants me to make a boys version because I did make a girls version so if you've missed that DIY you can check it out up here and I'm also going to be making an adult bonnet and I'm really excited for that because I have a really nice idea so stay tuned for that today as in most videos I will also be joined by my kitty making an Easter bonnet is really easy if it's your first time making it don't worry it's really simple so all you need is your hat to decorate and then a stash of things that are really cheap and I always get mine from Poundland but if you're not in the UK I know you can get these items or similar items in the dollar stores so let's get started I'm going to start off with cutting some green felt just to mimic grass So I've just brought out my old glue gun because a lot of subscribers have noticed this glue gun. Yes, he is a very loyal glue gun. I've had him for so many years and you can see all of the details of all the projects I've put him through. But I actually prefer this glue gun because it's low temperature. Seriously, the other little glue gun I've been using has actually burnt me a few times. So if you are you know doing this with children make sure you get a bigger glue gun because they tend to be lower temperatures or a glue gun that says it doesn't get too hot because I never get burnt with this one okay so next I'm taking this chicken bucket and I'm going to take him apart and just use him for my Easter bonnet you can cut these felt um, shapes out but for me I got the bucket for a pound so it would have been cheaper sorry excuse my cat walking across the screen um, yeah so it would have been cheaper for me to buy the bucket and just cut the shapes out instead of buying each color of felt so that's why I did that I know at the moment it looks kind of like a cross between a frog and a chicken but it won't look like that as we go on, I promise. Next, I'm taking some of this um, shredded paper and it comes in different colours all mixed together. I think I got this from either the works or Hand. So I just use some hot glue, stick that on. So I got this pen from Poundland and it had this cute rabbit that's springy and just sits at the top of the pen. So I took that off the pen. So now I've got like a springy rabbit and I'm just going to stick that to the side. So I'm adding a cool little feature on the bonnet for the boys and I'm just going to fill this chick egg with some chocolate glitter eggs and then just stick it to the top of the bonnet. I think it just adds another exciting aspect to the hat and the boys can look forward to opening up their egg and helping themselves to some treats or sharing them out.
So here is the completed boy's Easter bunny. We've got the secret chocolate stash here. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I think it looks quite different to my other bunny and definitely more suitable for a boy. It's got the cute but cool look. If you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye.